Hey, you guys, can you believe it? It's been 10 days on the market. We've already sold the place. So I accepted an offer yesterday. This morning I went and signed papers on it. So I've accepted it accepted an offer on the house now we still have the lot to sell back there i've got to sell that before i can proceed and get out of here i've got to have the total bankroll to make this work been working on the house as you've seen for the last several months all through winter it's now springtime i was hoping to have the house on the market at this time but i was also hoping to have the lot sold by now. My surveyor's just now recording our parcel today or tomorrow. So I'll have the lot number tomorrow. Gotta get that sold. There's been a little bit of interest in the lot, not as much as we've wanted so far, but it'll come. So closing date on the house is June 21st. So I gotta be out of the house then, and I hope to have the lot sold before then. Now I'm not sure when I'm leaving. I'm hoping for early July. I'm thinking I'll stay for 4th of July and then I'm gonna go. Still a lot more work to do. My visa hasn't been returned yet from its renewal. I still need to renew and expand my driver's license for four years, extend that. I need to get my international license. I need to look into health insurance over there. I need to talk to a lawyer I need to figure out my monies once I get it I can't leave until all those monies are taken care of so I can't bounce out of here right away got to make sure everything's done all my T's are crossed and my lights are off so still got to sell the truck I'm keeping my street glide for another year I'll come back I'll come back next year take care of Social Security add that to the bankroll so if you're wondering about Safan, her and I speak all the time. We had a video chat the other day for about 20 minutes talking about when I get there, what we're gonna do. Am I gonna go holiday? No, I'm on retirement, no holiday. So definitely go straight to Safan after I deal with my visa. I'll see a visa agent once I get there. I'll take care of all that. I'm figuring I should have a little over $500,000 after all said and done, I got full asking price for the house. So with the lot, we got, if we get full asking price on the house, after everybody gets paid, I'll be left with a nice chunk, make my payments, pay my little debt off. I'll be left with a good piece of the pie. So everything should work out fine. I'm looking forward to seeing Safan. She went back home to Sarin. She started her little noodle factory. Well, I don't mean her noodle factory. She has her noodle shop. So she's cooking noodles and selling spicy noodles outside her house there in Sarin. She lives in the outskirts. Surin seems to be a city much like Sandpoint here, where there is like one big sea, there's one big mall, there's a few lakes. We have one big lake. So there is some water around there, lots of old temples, lots of heritage and history in that little city. One main street with nightlife. Um, it'll be quiet living and cheap, so we'll see what happens, you know? I don't know what's gonna happen in this next year. I'm gonna explore Thailand and see where I wanna live. So follow me on this journey. The Thailand love story with Safan and I is going on. She's waiting for me and I'm looking forward to getting there. Like and subscribe, hit that share tab, leave a comment. We'll see you guys later. I'm heading to Thailand soon.